Just to be clear, this is not an exact replica of Thor's hammer, but it will instantly level up your man cave or dad cred. For Thor's hammer, I'm using a piece of 4x4 pine. Try and avoid any large knots in the wood as it will affect how the finish will look. I will rough cut it to 8.5 inches, then using a hand planer I will square it up to 3.5 inches wide. Prior to cutting these 45 degree bevels, I will cut the hammer to the final length of 8 inches. Now I'm just knocking off the corners of the hammer with a sanding block. I chose not to use a power sander because I felt like the hand sander gave me better control. I'm drilling a hole with a 1.5 inch Forstner bit to place the steel cap that the steel pipe will screw into for the handle. For the bottle opener, it will require two holes, a 1.5 inch diameter hole drilled deep enough to flush mount the bottle opener, and a 1 inch diameter hole to accept the bottle cap. Now for some details. I will be using a stippling pattern on all of the beveled edges using my Dremel engraving bit. I will make repeated, random, and overlapping cuts into the wood resulting in a crater-like pattern. Pro tip here, this process will take a while and your bit will get hot. Be sure to take breaks to allow the bit to cool. To make this hammer look like it was forged in the heart of a dying star, I'm using a sanding sealer to fill in the grains of the wood. Once it's dry, I'll just give it a light sanding with a 220 grit sandpaper. And by the way, if you're not sure what I'm referencing when I say the heart of a dying star, you may want to go back and brush up on your Marvel and Norse mythology knowledge. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Hammered Antique Pewter Spray Paint. This will give it that forge look that I'm going for. Off camera, I drilled a hole in the steel cap to sink a screw to hold in after applying some Gorilla Glue epoxy into the hole. The leather strips for this project were cut at 1.5 inches wide and 36 inches long. I made these angle cuts on the ends of the leather after wrapping it around the handle and marking where they overlapped. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the video that helped me to understand this as I think it helps explain it a little bit better. I used some Gorilla Glue epoxy for the beginning and end of the handle to secure the leather. Then I began wrapping the leather up the handle, paying close attention to the amount of overlap so that it would be equal. For the bottle opener, I marked, pre-drilled the holes, and used some Gorilla Glue to secure the opener. All right, so as I said, this is not an exact replica of Thor's hammer, but hey, you gotta admit, it's pretty cool. And it'll level up any man cave that you have or increase any dad cred that you may need. If you like the video, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button for me. And also, if you wanna see other DIY videos and get inspiration for your next projects, then do me a favor and click on the subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss a notification. Now, I haven't started selling these hammers online yet, but if you're interested and you want to get one, my contact information is in the description of this video. Drop me a line, let me know what you think, and maybe we can work something out. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for tuning in. Cheers. Hard book.